Hello everyone, Mike Newfound Past. Uh, today I'm going to do a little sold video, but a little bit differently. Uh, I pulled some orders, pulled them everything out already, and we're going to pack them up. And I'm going to do a little, little fly-in of what uh, they sold for and everything. So we'll talk about them as we're packing them, show you how we're packing them, and just show what they sold for and stuff. So yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I want to thank all of our new subscribers, our new patrons. You guys are great. Uh, check out Patreon. We got some uh, mystery boxes available for all patrons now at different levels. There's a $50 mystery box, a $125 mystery box, and even a $250 mystery box. The $250 and the higher you go, the $50 up to the $125 up to the $250, they get better. You know, uh, more stuff, better stuff. So yeah, you do the $250 mystery box plus shipping. And it's fantastic. It's going to be full of good stuff. Helps me out too. Helps the channel out. Helps my storage situation out. So yeah, that's great. So let's get into shipping some stuff. So let me see here. Let's just go down the list, I guess, here. So I got some stuff over here. I'll be back and forth, kind of. I got everything pulled. So first up, we got these. They're already, you know, how I store them. I store them in this package. These are Quicksilver uh, shorts. And I'll do a little fly in here. Show you exactly what they are. I paid uh, about five bucks for these. These are brand new with the tags. And uh, they sold for $17.34 plus shipping. So yeah, we're just gonna get these packaged up and ready to go. These will just these will just go into a poly bag. I'm sealing this inner bag up. Essentially they're double bagged. Grab my poly bag right here. Maybe we'll try to keep everything handy. And these will definitely be first class. These will probably run in, I don't know, about eight to 10 ounces or so. We'll see, we'll get them all weighed up. I have my little shipping station behind me, which was covered up with stuff, of course. Always moving stuff around. It's always a situation, isn't it? Storage hassles. Instead of storage wars, I got storage hassles. So yeah, we did go, uh, today is Monday, and we did go thrifting yesterday. Pretty good stuff. We're not going to do, uh, these are 10 ounces. That's what I figured, 10 ounces. So we'll get this uh, label printed out and ready to go. 10 ounces, put your sizes in. These will be just shipped through eBay, uh, probably the cheapest rate. First class package, purchase and print, ready to go. I do use a Dymo 4XL for all of our new subscribers, first time watchers. If you're watching and not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. We appreciate it. Helps do the videos. And here comes the first label. I like the Dymo 4XL. I've heard good things about the Rolo, but it's always handy to have the sticky back label so you can just pop it on and done. First one, done. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and do a mug here. Ship your next item. I do have one of these items as an Amazon sale actually. So yeah, it's pretty good. I like selling everywhere I can. So I'm gonna, what this, this mug was on stored on my wall i have a big hanging rack and if you've seen some other videos you've seen my storage and stuff and this is a really cool mug it's from 1982 with the dot matrix stuff on it and this one you know we got for 50 cents maybe even a quarter this one was a really cheap one but it was really neat this one sold for 26 dollars 79 for a mug plus shipping awesome stuff but we're going to clean that up And some Windex because this was hanging on the wall, so it you know, stuff that's not in a bin will accumulate dust and little things. So, we're just going to wipe it down, make sure everything is good, nice, spick and span, ready to go. Typically, this mug may squeak in the first class, but I'm going to ship this one priority for one, they paid for priority, and uh, two, I don't want this one to break. This is they paid big money for this you know with shipping $37.19 for a mug so I want that to get to them safe of course I want everything to get to everyone safe but definitely sell on this one so we're going to use our priority mail 7x7x6 seven by seven by box free this is box number four 
I use a ton of these boxes. I use a ton of these, a ton of the 12 by 12 by 8s, and uh, yeah, and a lot of other stuff, of course, you see back there. So, yeah. Super dangerous tape dispenser over there, the one that gave me stitches. <laughs> and of course, we are going to. I have my bubble wrap right here behind me. Get you a good length of bubble wrap. Some of these, the mugs this size, and um, can fit into a. into a six by four by four box sometimes the smaller mugs big mugs will not fit into this but sometimes you can get the smaller cheaper mugs into six by four by four and squeak them into first class but uh since this one is so expensive it's going to go in a bigger box and go priority mail super wrapping this one up i'll wrap bubble wrap around it and we'll do some paper as well taped up so we're not going to put it in the box yet we're going to set it to the side here and we're going to get some paper oh my storage <laughs> oh my goodness i get my I, I use for for about three years i was able to use the packing paper that the movers moved us here to dc with but recently i had to buy some paper and the best deal i found was caught from the uh the papery on ebay and it's about a dollar a pound and that's the best deal I found. So we're gonna line the bottom of that box and put our mug in there, snug it in and get another piece of paper. Kind of half wide, half fold. Get it in there and there you go. And you wanna shake it, no movement, tape it up. scale is always zeroed out and one pound five ounces that's about what I thought that's what about those about average in that box so get that one printed out one pound five ounces priority mail in the seven by seven by six box now here's another thing depending on where this is going Cubic may be best on this. Cubic rate through pirate ship may be best on this. And it may be best on this. This one's going to Minnesota. So we're going to go over to pirate ship here and check. Just in case. Because I'm pretty sure this may be um, eligible for cubic. And it'll save us a little money. Not a lot of money, but, you know, a dollar. But dollars count. Dollars and cents count. For sure. So I'm popping over here to... Uh, Pirate ship, I'm importing my sails, and it takes it a second. And we're going to find the mug here. And if I can find it, it's on here somewhere. Sometimes these titles, there it is. Get rates. So I'm going to do seven by seven by six, one pound, five ounces, and see what it gives us. Yeah, cubic at $8.12, and on eBay. It was $8.25. So it's only $0.13, cents, but $0.13 cents is $0.13. Cents. At the end of the year, you know, cumulatively, cumulatively, it all adds up. So I'm going to buy this label on Pirate Ship, and it will automatically notify eBay because I have my accounts linked up to Pirate Ship and be good and ready to go. Print this label. Oh, come on, pop up there. There it is. Command P on the old iMac and print it out. Number two. I'm going to set this over here. Okay, next up. 
Let's get back to our eBay page. We have, okay, let's go over here. Let's do these, this Johnson Bros, Johnson Brothers, salt and pepper shaker, they're like a pagoda. Salt and pepper shaker, and these sold for $18 plus shipping. We only gave a few dollars to these, these are brand new in the box, so yeah, easy to ship this one. So print shipping label. So the other part of doing all this is assessment how to ship. Obviously, I'm going to double box this one. I'm going to put this in a box. Uh, probably that 6x4x4 by four by four box. But let's measure it up just to make sure. My little tape measure I keep right here. This is right at 6 inches. And it's 3 inches. Oh, it's perfect. 6 by 35 by 3 So, yeah, this is going into the 6 by 4 by 4 box I showed earlier. Watch y'all. Six by four by four. I'm gonna go over here and tape it up. I am, when something's priority mail, I have priority mail tape, which you've seen on some of my boxes. But if something goes first class, obviously you can't use priority mail tape, you gotta use clear tape. So this one may be first class. So I'm gonna use clear tape and it fits perfectly in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of paper because there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. So give me a piece of paper here. Tear it in half. Kind of wad it up a little bit there and just make it to where it won't move around. Perfect. thinking this one will be uh, 12 ounces or so. Yeah, 12 ounces, right on the money. Bam! You do this long enough, you just get a feel for weights and all that stuff. So, 12 ounces, 6 by 4 by 4 update. And, let's see how... Yeah, first class package, $3.96. Perfect. We'll take it. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. <laughs> and there we go, print. Bam, another one ready to go. A lot of people, I mean, the highest learning curve for eBay is shipping, learning what, when, where, how, why, all that stuff. And uh, hopefully people will be able to get something out of this. But that's part of all this is just assessing everything. I do put a little tape on this label. Okay. So next up, we're going to go with some tough ones here. It's not tough, but, you know, they're a little bit bigger. I got this Grey Goose bottle stand. I have a whole bunch of these and they've slowly sold. I think I got four left. I bought like eight of them. And this one sold for $14.89 plus shipping. And I paid literally like a dollar a piece for these. So yeah, let's get that boxed up and ready to go. So my first thing when I look at this is how I'm gonna box this. I don't have a box this size. It'd be nice if I had a perfect slim box that would go around this. Don't have that. Because if I had boxes that would fit every item, because I have a hodgepodge of items, I would have a lot of boxes. So we just have to make something work with that. So what's going to work with that? My first instinct, since this is definitely over a pound, that's the first thing I ask myself. Is this over a pound? Yes, it is. So priority mail. Okay, priority mail. Do I have a priority mail box that will work with this? I think I do. Because we got length and width, so I'm going to look at these... Uh, what are these, 1045 boxes, 1097 boxes. I don't think this is long enough, and it's not. I could marry two of these up, but then I got a lot of width left over, width left over. So let's check a different box. Let's check this longer priority mail box, this 1095 box. It's longer, and see if the length will work, and it won't. The length is just a little bit too long. So here's the flap. And it just overlaps the flap over here, so it's not long enough. So, 
I don't have a priority mailbox long enough. So my best bet is probably is to marry up two of these shorter boxes. So let's do that. I could custom make a box and sit here and build and take 10 or 15 minutes cutting and stuff, but is a $15 item worth 15 minutes of my time? No, it's not. So I'm gonna marry this up. They paid for shipping anyway, and we'll just get this out of our hair. Yeah. Space. Okay, so this is a little bit fragile. It has some acrylic and stuff in it, so we're gonna wrap this in paper before we put it in the box. Throwing everything everywhere down here. Got some paper. Let's just wrap this up. I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'm going to take a couple more pieces of paper. And do like a tube. And we'll feed one down one side. And we'll do this for the other side as well. It's all about getting the item safely and economically to its destination. Tube. Okay, so we got that there. Now let's marry the boxes. What I like to do on doing this is take your flaps and push them in as good as you can and fold over the edges because they will get caught on the other box. This is a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit getting used to, especially with the paper and the item and everything, but it's not too bad. So there we go. You always got to make sure the edges don't catch on the outer box because it will rip it right up the edge if it does. There we go. Okay, so now I got it on there. Now I'm going to take these two inner flaps here and fold them down and have my fingers on them and push till I get where I want it. Push. Okay, that's perfect. So then we're going to fold it and seal it. Good thing about these boxes, they're self-adhesive strips. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to take and put some tape around here where we married it. This one probably will be oh, three and a half pounds or so. Those bottle displays are pretty heavy. So yeah, three pounds. Yep, three pounds, three ounces. Three pounds, three ounces. Just like I thought. But like I said, they paid for shipping. So what we do need to do though, since we married some boxes, we gotta measure it up. We got 19 inches, which makes it ineligible for cubic. 19 inches, 12 inches, 3 inches. So I made that assessment. It's not eligible for cubic, so there's no use of going over to Pirate Ship because eBay is going to be the cheapest. And they are. And there we go. Uh, priority mail shipping. Buy that label and get it printed out. Sent on to its new home. There we go. Oh, paper. I need a good solution for paper. <laughs> and throwing stuff around. Anyway, this one's ready to go. Good test right there, dropping it. Okay, what's up next? We got these Neos. These are boot cover, actually. They're brand new with the tags. I got these, I think I paid like $7.50 or so for these. And uh, these didn't sell for as much as I'd hoped, but they did sell for $28.20 plus shipping. So, good sell to get those out of here. Okay, and these will definitely be priority mail. They're over a pound. Our assessment, you remember, 
Weight, okay, over a pound, priority mail. Size, priority mail box. Probably a, um, a, probably a shoe box would still work for those just fine. The priority mail shoe box, which is this box. And this is the, yeah, it's just called a shoe box, priority mail shoe box. I can't think of another box that would work better. Nope, priority mail shoe box will be fine. Okay, get this taped up. I'll get to put a little paper in the bottom. People like to see packing, even if it's, even if it's not super necessary. And I'll just smash those like that. Make sure the label is in there. And slide that right in. There you go. Perfect. Put another little piece of paper in the top and we are good to go. this up and this is this may be high twos like two pounds ten ounces or so maybe <laughs> sometimes you most of the time you get it right and sometimes you're like way off well there's low twos actually two Two pounds three ounces so i knew it was in the twos <laughs> okay so this two pounds three ounces is shoe box size which is a 15 by eight by six we'll update that this is going to connecticut so regular priority mail is going to be the best on this Pir uh, cubic will not be any better than regular priority mail and there it is yep so purchase and print and that's a that's a hard question to ask and people ask it's like how do you know when something's cubic well it's <laughs> it's size weight and distance it's just like assessing for fedex as well or ups whichever one you prefer fedex is usually better for big heavy far stuff but there you go another one down okay so next up we have let me get over here yeah okay we got this marquee by waterford bar set it has the shaker the ice bucket and the wine cooler my wife picked this up at a garage sale for five bucks and this sold for sixty dollars and sixty cents plus shipping which was pretty hefty because i think this is going to the west coast i think it's going to arizona so let's hit print shipping label and it is it's going to arizona so this with its weight and it's if we can keep the size down like the size of the box maybe a 12 by 12 by 8 priority box and the weight of it more than likely this is going to go cubic but let's see you ready to find out first off we're going to wipe this down a little bit and still have my thing here because this was just up on a shelf this never even made it into a storage bin because you know we went on vacation and it just basically sat on the shelf because didn't, i didn't have time to inventory before i uh left so we'll wipe it down a little bit Get a little dirty it's amazing how i mean especially when you have pets i mean just the dander gets everywhere no matter what you do how much you clean so yeah, wipe this down so it's not filthy when it gets to them okay that's good so the question is will this fit into a 12 by 12 by 8 priority box i think it will but we'll have to see yeah, it should be fine. Let's try. Okay, so this is a box I used a lot. 12 by 12 by 8 priority mail box. Let's get this taped up. Okay, 
So this was this is an expensive set. They paid 60 bucks for this. So we are going to bubble wrap these pieces. Reach up here and get me some bubble wrap I have back here. Cut some pieces off. Bubble wrap, I, I mean, I just basically get go on Amazon and eBay and just try to find the cheapest for the, you have to pay attention to the length of the rolls they're offering and the width of the rolls they're offering and just calculate which one is best and it varies. So yeah, every time I need it, I just have to reassess who has the best price. So I'm gonna wrap the shaker up here. Doing this is, is truly the nuts and bolts of eBay. I do this every day. You know, you have solds. Hopefully you have solds every day. That's the that's the goal, right? But uh, this is just part of my day. I usually do my shipping between uh, 9 and 10.30 every morning. 9 and 11. Depending on how many packages I have, usually I can wrap it up in an hour or so. up there but we are going to paper this as well we're going to bubble wrap it and we're going to paper it so we want this to arrive safely and them to have no complaints because they pay good money Okay, so we got the bubble wrap. Let's get some paper. Line the bottom with a couple of sheets. Snug the wine. The biggest one is the wine chiller, so we're going to snug that in there first. And then the, uh, the ice bucket. And see where the shaker fits because the shaker is the smallest. Okay, sometimes you got to do some readjusting, see what will fit where. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Just fine, snug as a bug. Let's see if I can get you a good angle on this. Bring up the camera. Yeah. Snug as a bug in a rug. Okay, so let's go back to our shipping page. We'll put some more paper on top here. We'll do three, at least three pieces, maybe four, probably four. You want to get this tight in there. You don't want the, you don't want the items moving around. What I do is get it where I think it's snug, and I'll close the flaps before I tape it. I'll shake it. Okay, and this one's good. There's no movement. Get that box really tight, and go over here and tape it. This has some heft to it. This has some weight. It's probably five to six pounds or so. Yeah. Five pounds, 11 ounces. Exactly what I thought. Five pounds, 11 ounces in a 12 by 12 by 8 box. So the question is, is this cubic eligible? Let's find out think it is let's see go over to our pirate ship 
import page and we're looking for the marquee by Waterford and that's a 12 by 12 by 8 that's 5 pounds 11 ounces nope not eligible for cubic I was hoping it would but there's probably some measurement or weight or some combination thereof that makes this ineligible the box is probably too big the 12 by 12 by 8 so yeah the uh, cheapest rate is eBay regular priority mail so let's go ahead and purchase that label a lot of people know the exact details of what you know would be eligible for cubic and why that isn't and stuff but it doesn't really matter to me as long as I know in general <laughs> what could be you know I don't want to take up my, too much of my limited brain capacity <laughs> okay that label on ready to go okay what's next so we got some stuff over here I actually got sold this on Amazon let's go over to Amazon yep this Laramie water pistol I got this at a <laughs> it was my wife texting me uh, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar this is from 1997 this is a water pistol and I sold this on Amazon for $40 of course I'm merchant fulfilled I'm fulfilling it I did not FBA that but uh, yeah pretty awesome I got two of them actually they bought one of them and I got another one left so I need to buy the shipping on this this will definitely be first class so let's see here okay Since it, I'm struggling with this one because since this is vintage, it's from 1997, it's sad that's vintage, but it is. Um, I don't want it to be damaged in transit. So, I mean, a padded mailer should be okay for this, but what if somebody's buying this for their collection or something, you know, and it's in good shape, the card's in good shape, and if I put it in a padded envelope, the edges will just get wrecked and crushed and everything. So, I think I'm going to box this which bumps it to priority, but it's a few dollars extra out of my pocket. I mean, on Amazon, that's a big issue with Amazon. Like they only paid six forty nine shipping on this. If I do this priority, it'll probably be eight bucks or so eight and change, but uh, $2 for the assurance that the customer gets what they want and doesn't return it, which is a big issue on Amazon because they could return this easily and I could do nothing about it. So let's do this priority. I'm going to do the small, the 1040, the 1097 box. And uh, yeah, let's just do it that way. That way we know it gets there safe, uh, not crushed. We will wrap this up in paper. And get it out safely to the customer. I mean, when somebody spends $40 on a water pistol, you want to get it to them safely. Luckily, Amazon does have Cubic available, so I don't have to like go to Pirate Ship or anything, but I don't think this will be Cubic anyway. Okay, we're going to do one more piece of paper down the side there. This isn't going to weigh much. This this is going to be less than a pound. But uh, so if I had a um, a plain cardboard box this size, I would do it. But I don't have anything that would work for this size of an item. Which I guess I should get something that would work. Oh, sometimes these <laughs> sometimes these things do not want to peel off. Most of the time they're fine, but sometimes they just rip everywhere. Okay. So, just weighed up. Yeah, 12 ounces. It's just like I thought, it's 12 ounces. So, in here, we got to add a new package on Amazon. Length is 14 by 12 by 3. Whoops. Apply 12 ounces.
Yeah, priority is 825. The good thing about priority mail, too, is it already has insurance on it. So, um, yeah. We want to get it to them safe. I mean, it would be nice to send this the cheapest way possible. But, uh, yeah, like I said, when somebody spends $40 on a water pistol, we want to get it to them safe. So let's go ahead and give it to them priority. Command P, print out this label. Done. Like I said, that was an Amazon sale. I can still print out the labels on my Dymo just like normal. And that one's done. Okay, so back to eBay. We got these inks, these HP 940XL pink inks. Some, one color package, one black package. Uh, I lotted these up, the same listing. I only paid like three or four dollars each for these so about six bucks all in and these sold for thirty one dollars and twenty seven cents plus shipping so let's get these sent out i will probably just poly bag these because these are already in a retail package box and they're not going to get damaged so i don't know if they'll fit in the smaller poly bag because it's pretty thick let's just see though i don't think they will i think one of them would but i don't think both of them would but let's try Save one of them, super easy. Two of them, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if I can squeeze. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, works just fine. Good. I have some bigger poly bags, but I have a lot of these size of poly bags. These are like the 15 by 12 poly bags. One pound, five ounces. One pound, five ounces. Yep, I have the sizes just about perfect for that one. And since this one is going to North Carolina, just regular priority is going to be best on this one. So there it is. Print out the label. I like it when it's easy peasy like that. <laughs> our next one, our last one is not easy peasy. It's some glassware, so... And done. So, our next one is a set of four glass mugs, Budweiser mugs, vintage. Pretty cool stuff. Um, they didn't sell for a whole lot, though. Uh, I got these at an auction for literally like a dollar. So it wasn't that bad. But these sold for $20.71 plus shipping. And shipping is quite hefty on these because they're heavy. And they are going to Minnesota, which is halfway across the country. So, yeah, we're definitely going to bubble wrap these and box them up and get them out of here. So I need four pieces of bubble wrap. These will probably go into a 12 by 12 by 8 priority box. Okay, four pieces of bubble wrap. Put it back up there. Before I do all this, and people that have watched me for a long time know, I always transfer my PayPal money before I buy shipping. That way my credit card gets charged. That's the way I churn points to go on vacation. sit over there for now while I wrap these up yeah I, I definitely transfer that PayPal money and I accumulate points off of all my shipping and my eBay fees and even stuff I buy in normal life all year and yeah I'm gonna do a separate video about that but our our vacation in Hawaii was very inexpensive because of all these points from shipping stuff video like that it takes a while to put together because I want to do options for everyone I've realized that not everyone has perfect credit and uh, some people have bad credit some people have average credit and some people have great credit so I'm going to do a 
video showing an option for everyone that has bad, average, or good. wanted to do this video like this because I wanted to show the real process, the day in the life of, you know. This is my, this takes up a good hour to two hours in my morning, every morning. started the video I had already pulled everything out of all my bins back there of all my storage bins and that by itself takes you know 10 to 30 minutes depending on how many items I have So we're definitely going to line this with paper, our paper from the papery. Got everything bubble wrapped. Sometimes getting the paper apart is the most challenging thing. We'll line the bottom. All right, let's grab our mugs and we'll get these layered in there and get them all snug so they're not moving around. I was surprised at how long these took to sell, actually, but uh, they did. They finally sold, and that's that's what the goal is, right? Okay, so those are pretty snug right there. We need to grab some more paper here. That big old stack of paper over here. Ooh. Three or four sheets. <laughs> Sometimes I said this while I go. Hardest part getting these apart. I don't like licking my fingers. <laughs> Guess I could do this. I'm always sweating, it seems like. Yeah, they helped. Okay, I think I did five pieces of paper in the top there. And get this, like I said before, snugged up tight. That's pretty good. Heavy, heavy. Six pounds, 13 ounces. I knew it would be that. Six pounds, 13 ounces. 12 by 12 by 8. Yep, yeah, that's it. And that box we've already established is not eligible for cubic because it's too big. So, and the, and the buyer paid for shipping anyway. So, here we go. I do get the top rated seller discount, which always helps out. And there it is. Print that one out. Um, I'm glad this did this. You see it didn't print. Do you hear that? It didn't print. It shows pending there. Sometimes That's the issue with this Dymo 4XL printer. Sometimes it just stops working. But it's an easy fix. All you have to do is unplug it for about 10 or 15 seconds. Until the blue light in the front goes out. Let me show you. I just unplugged it. Well, I can't reach because of <laughs> it's attached. But there's a blue light in the front. And actually it takes about 10 or 15 seconds for that blue light to go out because there's a capacitor in this Dymo 4XL that actually holds energy. So after you unplug it, it takes you know a good few seconds, 10, 15, sometimes 20 seconds for that blue light to go out. It just went out. So the blue light is out, let's plug it back in and you'll hear this print immediately if everything goes as planned. Okay, I think it's paused in here, so let's, uh, oh, there it is, yep, resume, there it is. 
and just like that. Okay, so our last step, that is all of our items from yesterday. I do ship on Saturday, so this was just the sales from Sunday. Pretty slow day, actually, only nine items or so. So, pretty slow, but it was a good versatile thing. Uh, a few off my second eBay account, a few off my first eBay account, and one off Amazon. So that was pretty nice, but that was everything. So we're going to grab our bag. Our Ikea bag that I use the heck out of and always have. And get these into the Ikea bag. See if we can fit them all. 12 by 12 by 8. Probably, probably need more than one Ikea bag, but we'll make it work. My other ones are out in the truck, actually, from thrifting yesterday, full of stuff. Second one in there, this one in there. Okay. Yeah, one's definitely not going to do it, but uh, that's okay. Pile them up here. And that's it. That is all of our stuff. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, check out Patreon. It helps out the channel a lot. Doing these videos. I got some other videos like the thrifting yesterday. We kind of did it different. It's going to be edit intensive. So it takes a lot of time to do those. So check out Patreon. Help the channel. We appreciate that. But uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the sold video and the packing. So yeah. Thanks guys. We'll see you guys later.